Now, we've all heard the saying, adding insult to injury, right? So let's imagine that a tragedy has happened to you, like someone you love passing away, or maybe you're losing your home to foreclosure. I've given these two examples because years ago on The Oprah Show, there was a woman who went out like she did every morning on her morning jog, and while she was on that jog, her husband actually murdered their children while their children were still sleeping in their beds. Now, this lady sat on the Oprah show and you could clearly tell she was still distraught. And it took a lot of courage for her to come on national TV and pretty much tell her story. Oprah Winfrey went on to tell this lady that there was a silver lining around this tragedy because This woman telling her story on the Oprah Winfrey show was going to help someone. I didn't have the language for it then, but that is the complete and total definition of toxic positivity and adding insult to someone's injury. Another example on the Oprah Winfrey show was another young woman who was losing her home to foreclosure. Oprah was actually Skyping to this woman's home in real time And of course, the young woman was very distraught. She was very upset because she was due to lose her home in a matter of weeks, for which Oprah told her she needed to take a deep breath and that she needed to calm down and breathe deeply because the young woman being upset about being homeless in a matter of weeks was not going to help matters any. Another prime example of adding insult to injury with toxic positivity. I also liken toxic positivity to being that proverbial ostrich with your head in the sand, ignoring the human condition to make believe or pretend that everything is okay when it's not. Now, while we are human gods, like the allegorical story of Jesus, We are both human and we are divine. We are demigods. But the human part of us means that we are still subjected to the human condition, which means we're going to have negative human emotions, jealousy, anger, resentment, hatred, vengeance, being stubborn, worrying, Those negative emotions are, unfortunately, part of the human condition and are to be expected. At times, we are not going to be positive. We're going to be negative, and that is okay. But those negative emotions do not in any way mean that you cannot create or manifest anything. You do not have to go around and be a toxic, positive ostrich with your head in the sand, pretending to be happy, pretending to be content as some kind of virtuous cheat code or workaround to create or manifest what you want. I've covered this before, but so often in the law of attraction and law of assumption spaces, you find so many people preaching and touting that you have to pretend to be happy all the time. Because if you don't, you will not create or manifest anything positive into your life. So you have these authors and teachers here on YouTube and everywhere else telling everyone to go around with a fake smile and to pretend to be happy as if you're pretending to be happy or gracious, or positive is going to get you to your desired manifestation faster than if you are negative, which is a flat out lie. I am not speaking in theory. I am speaking from experience. I was involved in a lawsuit many years ago with a company that I used to work for. I called this company and I cussed out every executive for nearly two weeks, every single day. I called them every name I could think of, and I still got my six-figure settlement from them. If you feel rage, feel it. 
If you feel anger, feel it. If you feel jealousy, feel it. If you feel any emotion that is considered quote unquote negative, feel it and still move on with your day, move on with your life, knowing that you can still get what you want. You can still create what you want. If you feel gracious, positive, happy, loving, giving, forgiving, whatever it is, if you feel that, then feel that. I'm not telling any of you to essentially go out and be negative or feel negative things. I'm saying that it is a part of our human divinity to be subjected to the woes and the rigors of human life. And there are going to be negative situations and negative circumstances. But those negative situations and circumstances do not mean that we cannot still simultaneously create and manifest what we want, no matter what that is. If you're having a bad day, a bad week, a bad year, don't let these law of attraction people tell you that it's because you've been negative. Don't let them tell you that it's happening to you because you are currently negative. You can still I don't know how many times I have to say this. You can still manifest, create anything you want, regardless to how you feel. Does feeling good hurt the creative process? Absolutely not. But I'll tell you what can hinder you and make you feel crazy and probably make you go crazy. And that is when you're having negative emotions or negative situations and you're sitting there with a forced smile trying to pretend that everything is okay. Or if you're one of these annoying ass people who love to go around and add insult to other people's injury when they're clearly having a tough time by telling them to stop complaining, look on the bright side, or whatever other bullshit statement that people love to make when they're adding insult to your injury. When that happens and someone's telling you that you're being negative, why don't you just be a little more negative by telling them to get the fuck out of your face and to kiss your ass and please tell them that I told you to do it. Have some compassion and some empathy for people who are faced with something that is a huge challenge to them and they may be in a negative space. Encourage them that things will get better and that they can still create whatever it is that they want. Again, while we're both human and divine, like Jesus, we are still subjected to the human condition. Is everything in our lives here on earth going to be flowers and lollipops? No. But does that mean our negative reaction to the woes of life damns us to not being able to create and manifest what we want. It doesn't mean that. Don't let people tell you that. Don't allow toxic positivity to sell you that bullshit bill of goods. It's not true. Because of all of your love and support over these past six months, I'm happy to announce that we are nearly at 500 subscribers. I'm very excited about that. I thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, until next time, Bye, everybody.